All right, so it's 11.13 a.m. and I am about to embark on, you know, something that could be called a race, really. Uh, a time trial, if you will. The, we're here at the cabin, uh, the woods, we're on an island in Norway. And for 20 years or so, my dad and his friend has been running uh, a, a route here on the island that we call, the, well, directly translated is actually the Long Island Mile. Uh, it's not a mile, it's uh, 8.5 kilometers. And um, it's a course that I've been doing countless times as well, mostly as an easy effort. But today I'm going to try and crush the course record and uh, I'm going to run hard. So it's supposed to be a threshold session. I might go a little harder if I'm able to do the time that I hope um, while staying at threshold effort, then I'm very happy. But if I have to go harder, then I will. Um, my Achilles tendon isn't really feeling super, so I'm a little worried about that. But I'm also worried it will rain. We'll see. First, I'm doing the warm-up, which is just half an hour easy, which I'm going to do now. And then here I have my, my run plan. And so basically it's 8.5 kilometers. It's really hilly. I think it's almost about 200 meters of elevation over those eight and a half kilometers. And so if I'm going to beat the course record, the course record is set by a friend of my dad and it's 44.15, um, which is a great time, but I'm pretty certain I'm going to crush that one. So that's like my lower limit of my goals today. Then my own personal best is actually 46, 43, so even slower, but that's like before I really started running training systematically. And then um, because it's so close to 40 minutes, of course, I have like an arbitrary goal of going sub 40, 39 something. And that's gonna be an average pace of 442 per kilometer. That's gonna be a tough goal, I think. So I've done some calculations, I'm not gonna go into them now, but I'm thinking that sub 40 might be possible, but I'm not sure, it's very difficult to predict. At least I'd like to see 40 something. If I have to say 41 or 42 something, that's okay as well. As long as I go faster than 44, 14. I have the splits here on my hand for where I need, where I need to be at different points at different times. And yeah, I'm just gonna go hard. That's, that's my plan. Alright, so I'm back from the warm-up. Of course, I'm all kinds of nervous and my heart rate is high and whatever, but feeling pretty good. Mads and my mom, they're out in, on the course uh, to do some filming while they're out for a walk. And my dad is behind the camera. I'm gonna go shirtless and the heart rate monitor is out of battery, so no heart rate reading, which is unfamiliar for me, but probably just good actually. dad is gonna be timing me how's that uh, is that okay oh it's not easy but I will do I shall do my best pushing that button and again when you are returning pushing that button that's right uh, quite complicated but and you, I, I and, have understood it. and this is your course really the route yeah, yeah. you've run it many times yes um, for 24 years wow yeah. It's summer and autumn. Is it a tough route? It's a really tough one. Yeah. It's uh, like this all the way. Very hilly. Very hilly and very steep. Yeah. Three, three, of, uh, three hills three, that are tough. Three, yeah, really tough ones. Yeah, And it's uh, gravel. First here is like trail-ish yeah. and then gravel uh, afterwards. So yeah, it'll be tough. Klar, ferdig, gå! Alright, we are running and I'm giving you a little bit of a commentary along the way. So it starts out here at the cabin and then gets pretty steep pretty quickly. So the first kilometer is only going up. Pretty tough start. 
Um, eventually, I make my way through the forest, and you can see me there coming around the corner. This is around like 1.1 kilometer in, so I'm just fresh starting off. Mads and my mom are filming me here on one of the straight parts of the course, feeling epic. Let's see if I feel as fresh as I do now when I'm coming back. That's what I told them. Making sure I'm running conservative, you know, it is a 40 minute type effort, yet still pushing pretty hard. Running at around the lactate threshold, that type of effort anyway. <laughs> Mads and my mom <laughs> making funny faces. Here we are coming down the hill uh, towards where, towards the end here, going down. This is a pretty steep, steep way going down actually. And all the way down to the ocean and, and back up again. Now this hill is tough, as I said, around the corner they're really steep. I actually walked for like 10 seconds or something. And then it's just 2 kilometers, you know, all out almost, going back to the cabin. And here I am, coming back to the cabin. Coming out of the forest and into the light. Last little kick. And that's it. That was tough. So uh, 3801 was it? Yes. 3801 on the watch. Above expectations, although if you remember my dad, I'm talking to my dad behind the camera, if you remember the calculations, I actually mm -hmm. wrote down that I think I might be able to do 38.5. Yes. 38 and a half. Yeah. And I was pretty close to that. Yeah. So good estimation. It was very tough, but short enough so that it wasn't, you know, extremely painful extending wise. Like I didn't have to I didn't have to sort of endure it for too long. Forty minutes, that's a good short effort. But it was a lot of fun and I'm happy that I beat the record, forty four fifteen and my own personal best from like two thousand fifteen before I started training. Forty six something. That was completely demolished obviously. Um, I felt in control the whole way, it was a lot of fun, I passed Mads and my mom three times, so they got some good footage here that you've probably already seen. I don't know my heart rate, I took it manually a few times up the, going up hills when I was like walking slow, uh, running slowly, and I think uh, probably was around 185 or something, so it was probably a, around the threshold type effort, you know, could I keep this up for another 20 minutes? I think so which means that it was a decent threshold type effort. Um, yeah, a lot of hills, a lot of running fast, and just very fun. Must have scared all the birds of the island uh, with my grunts and moans and coughs and all kinds of weird sounds as I was painfully making my way through the hilly gravel roads of uh, Lange. But by now they probably know me since I've been running this course for so many years. But very happy with today's effort, personal best, and it shows that my fitness is pretty good, I'd say. You know, it's difficult to sort of extrapolate this to a 10k on the road. But I would, you know, I would, I would go ahead and guess that I could probably run a 10k in around, around 39 minutes, possibly even faster, I don't know. Uh, so, you know, can I do sub three hours for the marathon in November? Still a tall order, but not impossible. And now I'm gonna do a cool down, just like two, three kilometers of easy running, and then I'm gonna call it a day.